Welcome everyone to the first episode of Success Within Action. Today uh, we have a really special guest with us, Fernando. He's a cinematographer from Las Vegas and he's here to talk about something really important for all of you. Hi guys, how's everyone doing? So, uh, Fernando, tell us a little bit about what is cinematography. Have you ever seen a movie, have you ever seen a shot and you say, wow, that's a, that's a really pretty shot? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, that's the job of the cinematographer. Uh, make the scene look pretty through lighting, camera movement, and camera motivation. Oh, that's, that's really interesting. I've never thought about that. So, uh, why don't you tell us uh, which projects have you been involved in? Actually, I've been involved in, in quite big projects by now. Uh, I've actually worked on Mock Up 2, uh, The Big Short, Jason Bourne, The Space Between Us, you know, uh, among other films. Wow! So, but you were the cinematographer for these movies? No, no, I was not a cinematographer for these films, but uh, I, I did work as an assistant of the production. Uh, which ultimately led to me creating my own company and start creating content and expression of oneself. Oh, that's, that's really interesting because you have to remember guys that there's no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs every time, one step at a time until you reach to your, to your goals to be successful. So talking about success, what's one of the most important things you would say it's necessary to achieve success in life? Well, that's a, that's a question very open to discussion because not everyone thinks in the same way, you know, and um, I think everyone has their own style, everyone has their, their own way of looking at life. So, if you ask me, I would say just keep bettering on yourself, uh, keep bettering uh, on your craft and always be happy. Yeah, absolutely. You have to keep, you know, improving yourself, right, like every day trying to be better than you were yesterday and just just improving mm -hmm. every single day. So talking more about cinematography, what did you need to be successful in cinematography? Well, I would say uh, just keep doing work. Keep doing work. Um, be patient mostly because the people who actually leave this industry or leave this uh, cinematography was the lack of patience. Um, you know, they see that things aren't happening for them, so they leave. There's no, no other way. Time, patience. So, so would you say patience uh, has been one of your major obstacles in your cinematography career? Absolutely. Uh, time has been has been rough uh, because not everyone gets famous from one from one day to the other. It's just time. So, you either have the patience for it, keep working hard or you won't be a cinematographer. That's, that's really just how it is. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's, well, that's with everything in life, guys. You have to be consistent and patient and uh, you, know, you have to keep going you know, day after day. You mm -hmm. know, if you fail, you have to try again and that's the only thing you, you can achieve things in any aspect of your life. So what have you done to overcome this obstacle, this patience obstacle? Well, it's just a matter of sticking to your guns, you know, believe in yourself. Uh, because there will always be a door that will be shut in your face. Uh, so it's up to you to make it happen. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like, life is no uh, sunshine and rainbows, you know, all the time. So it's going to get hard and difficult, but, you know, you have to be tougher than life. Mm -hmm. Just keep going, right? Exactly. It's just uh, finding it and go, go and get it. Yeah, absolutely. So would you say uh, anyone could become a good cinematographer? Anyone can become a cinematographer. Uh, it's just a matter of putting in work. You know? yeah, putting in work, work hard, develop your own style. And the more work you put out there, the more you get recognized. So that's, that's, uh, would you say that's what it takes to be a good cinematographer? Or do you need anything else to be a good one? There's really no good or bad. It's just a matter of uh, having your own style, you know, being original and like I, like, like I said, stick to your guns, develop your own style and get out there. 
Yeah, absolutely. You just have to go for it. Mm -hmm. uh, but what differentiates a good cinematographer for a great one? You know, what makes that that quantum leap before uh, uh, from a good one to the great one? Knowing your craft, knowing what you're selling, uh, because if you don't know what you, how far you can go, if you. If, if you keep putting limits on yourself, that's that's when you lose. So, the more you know something, the more you practice it, the the, the greater you're going to be. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree more with that. You, know, you just have to keep improving, like we said before, improving and getting better and practicing and keeping that consistent. Because, you know, I think you need to take action if you want to uh, make things happen, mm -hmm. but consistently, because it's just not taking action once or every month or every week. Mm -hmm. You have to do it consistently until you achieve what you're trying to achieve, right? Mm -hmm. So talking about learning and improving yourself, would you say it's important to acquire specific knowledge as a cinematographer? Well, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's just a matter of keep practicing, uh, keep getting better, uh, and keep losing. You know, because every time you lose, it's a lesson learned. Absolutely, I love that. That's that's so true. You know, it, the only thing you can get a, from a failure is an experience and learning. That's that's the important part, right? Mm -hmm. So either you succeed or you learn. That's it. Mm -hmm. There's no failures as as like. like it's not failures, it's uh, lessons. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, talking about these kind of experiences, these failures, which are actual lessons, when things get difficult, what keeps you motivated and pushing towards your goals? Well, usually my family. My family is always there for me. You know, my friends, you know, they, they keep telling me, never stop, never quit, because there will be a moment that you will regret it in the future. You, know, you will regret not you know, having the guts to keep going and push yourself as much as you can. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's really important because the people you surround yourself with can make a really big impact on what you're doing and if you're failing or succeeding or just growing as a person. No, absolutely. Uh, the people you hang out with, it's uh, probably like the most important thing because if you hang out with people who are, you know, just as motivated as yourself, if they're just... Uh, if they push each other, you know, to help. Um, you will always have their back. You will always have their motivation. But if you don't hang out with uh, people just as motivated, as motivated as yourself, they're just gonna bring you down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know, I think it, there's a, a saying that goes like, if you hang out with ten, uh, with nine losers, soon you'll be the tenth, <laughs> right? So it, it's really true. And you know, there's there's also uh, I, I don't know where I heard this, but it's been like a lot in my mind lately. And it's like they say that you are the average of the five people you hang out with the most. So could you imagine if you're hanging with people that has no value to you, that you're not learning anything from them, that they're not uh, helping you get you know to get to that next level in your life every time? You know, it's like what's the point, mm -hmm. right? So be really aware of uh, who are you surrounding yourself. If you hang out with wolves, you will become one. If you hang out with sheep, you will become one. Absolutely, absolutely. So could you give us a piece of advice to the aspiring cinematographers and everyone else pursuing their dreams? Absolutely, just keep in mind that practice makes a master. Always stay hungry and always have an appetite for success. You know, when you have a, an appetite for success, you will never give up, you will never give in, and you will better yourself and your craft at the same time. Absolutely, and just, just remember guys, you have to keep showing up every time, every day. Even if you feel like you're not doing progress at the time, that nothing is happening, you have to keep showing up every time. Because that's, every time you show, you keep showing up, that adds up to a massive, massive uh, result at the end of the day. So just don't quit, keep going, even if things uh, doesn't look perfect just keep going keep going stay hungry and just never give up remember there will always be someone there for you always and rely on them yeah absolutely absolutely so uh, thank you Fernando for uh, sharing your your experience with us your knowledge and uh, absolutely. We'll... thank you for the invite glad to be here absolutely absolutely so catch you guys in the next episode of success within